Now this week we learned the name of the UK's tallest stag but only after he'd been laid low by a trophy hunter. At least that's what may have happened to the mighty emperor, nine feet from hoof to antler. The hunting season's now underway, so after all the fuss about fox hunting, killing for sport goes on as usual. But should it? A question we'll be discussing in just a moment after this report, which does include a scene of a stag being killed. Well, I've got it. It was a beautiful stag. He stood proud. He was, he was tall. He was, I guess he was eight foot tall, because he was, he was, and you know, he, a body on him was huge. But why does the perfectly legal killing of this mighty stag cause a perfect storm of protest, even from some within the hunting community? Is it because the pleasure at his death seemed literally such a cheap shot? Hunting with dogs for foxes and deer was banned under the last government. Then the hunting brigade felt their way of life had been insulted. Some even broke into the House of Commons. We are here dealing with... Sitting suspended. For animal lovers, killing, particularly for entertainment, is a mark of an uncivilised society lacking in compassion. Others argue that hunting is an essential part of country life, and that there are compelling conservation reasons to kill foxes, deer and other animals. They will die through the winter time through starvation. So it's a much more a, a welfare issue in terms of controlling the animal to shoot it. It's a very clean one shot, the animal's dead, no wel welfare issue. Some find the spectacle of the hunt exhilarating. Others see it as almost an obscenity. But is killing for sport wrong if there's a higher motive to go with it? If the animal makes for good food or needs to be culled, isn't it fairer to give the animal some chance of escape? Are we in danger of becoming squeamish about furry animals that might end up in a pot anyway? But the stag has excited deeper emotions than a salmon would. Were we angry at the death of a great creature someone saw as a decoration above a mantelpiece? Or is the primitive urge to kill for sport now at odds with an equally primitive sense that we don't need to do this? Well, Benjamin, it's appalled someone could kill such a great creature for sport. Whose side are you on, the hunted or the hunter? If you've got a webcam, go to our website now and click on the video call link to join the discussion. You can make your point by phone, by text, by email or online. Details are on screen. We're going to be speaking to Brian May from Queen. Rock legend, animal welfare campaigner, very shortly. But Benjamin, firstly, humans are at the top of the food chain. Are we being too sentimental about this? Well... <coughs> I can't really say anything without saying, first of all, that I'm a vegan. So I think that killing animals for food is wrong. But um, again, I'm, I was very, I, d I didn't know about this stag before. Mm. And uh, w when, when I um, read the story, I was really saddened. I didn't know we had such a kind of amazing animal in our countryside. Um, not, it wasn't that long ago in terms of how long human beings have been on earth when um, slaves uh, slave owners who had slaves would let a few off and then go and hunt them. So um, I'm on the side of well, the you say it's not that long ago. It's, it's quite a long time well, ago. Well, humans have been on there for a very long time and slavery finished about 400 years ago. Um, you know, there, there, are, there are some people in the States who remember slavery. But so I come from a generation of people, oh, not a generation, I come from a people who were once kind of hunted in the same way as animals were and caged and enslaved and made to work. Um, and so you think that we should give the animals then the same rights as we give humans? I think animals, when animals are born, they're not born to feed humans or to be sports for humans. And I think people who hunt them for sports, I think there's a kind of, it's a kind of sickness. Christina? I, I am not a vegan. I'm not even a vegetarian. So I eat animals mm. and someone will have had to kill them before I eat them. But I'm against hunting for sport. I think it's absolutely tragic that this, this magnificent creature has been killed. What is the difference between um, killing for food and hunting for sport in your well, mind? Well, uh, if, if we eat it for food, then it has a purpose. And uh, we can have a, another discussion about mm. whether people should eat um, the meat of animals. 
uh, or not. A, is there not a purpose in hunting for sport? Is there no, there is no, no. It's entertainment it's purpose. It's only for the, the benefit of people and, and you can certainly, if people like to take aim and fire, and I think a lot of people do, you can do that with clay pigeon hunting, you can do that in many different ways to satisfy that urge to fire at something. Um, I recently took up archery, it feels wonderful. I, I fire at some straw, a straw bale. I would never fire at them. But um, I, I think there are, are uh, cloudy issues where animals are pests and they need to be kept, the population needs to be kept under. Certainly in competing rights for certain animals, sometimes animals are, are culled, killed, for the rights of other animals. Um, and, and, and I think that's, that's possible. So yes, I am anti-hunting for pure human sport, but I, I do understand absolutely the need for some animals to be killed at some time. And do you see the distinction, Ian? Well, or? I mean, let's cut to the chase. If you pick up a gun and kill a magnificent creature like that for the fun of it, so you can stick a pair of antlers on your chimney breast, you have something wrong with you. Simple as that. We were talking before about who should go to jail. Somebody like that should be locked up for a very long time. I wanted to say that, but there, you are. How, however, there is, when we get into the deeper issues of this, if somebody the, kills, the emotional yeah, arguments, okay. when we look at rats that get killed, mm -hmm. fishing, and there are, then you start to see the inconsistencies that unfold. Do you think it's okay to shoot rats? I think you have no choice. I mean, a rat is a pest. It's a, it's a nasty bit of kit that and will tear around and do horrible that things to you. That, 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 that hunting is a form of pest control, but some people don't understand it because they live in town. I, I, I totally countryside. understand the conservation argument that in certain um, uh, deer um, population, that have to, the numbers have to be brought down. I'm sure Benjamin will disagree with that, but uh, that's certainly the, the gamekeeper argument. And in doing so, you know, people enjoy the, the, the thrill, if you like, of stalking that stag, mm -hmm. but that's, that's a different that's from just going yes, out there different. on a yeah. Monday afternoon saying yeah. I feel like blowing a stag. Well, well David Taylor is from the Countryside Alliance. Um, uh, we have the view from Simon in the studio here, David, that people who shoot a, a magnificent beast for a trophy should, should face locking up. Well, people don't just, like you say, go out on a Sunday afternoon and say I want to blow away a stag. Deer management happens across the country because we have lots of deer. Deer have no natural predators, so we have to manage these numbers. So Do you see any difference between shooting rats and shooting deer? Well, obviously both rats and deer, their numbers have to be controlled. If deer populations get too large, they cause problems for themselves in terms of disease. Their populations start to affect biodiversity. Crops get hurt because they damage agriculture. Woodland doesn't regenerate because they eat young saplings. What, what, why do we need a, a fantastic beast like Emperor, who, who seems to have caught the heart of many in the nation, shot because we understand somebody wanted that trophy above their mantelpiece? That is not pest control. That sounds like something, some would say, from a different century. I don't want to speculate on the actual emperor himself. I mean, obviously there's been lots of speculation whether he was actually shot or not. What do you think about trophy hunting generally? However, well, if a trophy, if there is a large animal which is part of a cull, an integrated management plan in order to manage the herd, if there is a trophy which has to be taken out and someone wants to pay some money for that, that is acceptable if the money goes back in to pay for the damage which, goes, which the deer actually do and to, for the money to go back into the local rural economy and for deer management for that herd itself. Brian because the money then gets reinvested to help the herd themselves. Brian May, as I promised, is on the line. Uh, Brian, why do you think that David Taylor is wrong? I think uh, it's a rather desperate attempt to sort of half justify something which is unsupportable. I mean, I don't think anyone has come up for a, a decent ar with a decent answer as to whether um, it, it's okay to go and shoot animals and end their lives for fun. I think the whole idea of, of control is is deeply suspect also, I have to say. I mean, it's very obvious that there's too many um, human beings on this planet, but nobody advocates going out and shooting them. Um, I, I really don't believe any of it, and, um, and I also don't believe that it's right to be killing animals. I certainly don't believe it's right to be... Um, causing animals unnecessary suffering. A lot of those people who might object to what happened, or we think happened to uh, Emperor the Stag, will carry on eating meat. 
What do you think of those people? I think if you're starving and you have to kill an animal to, to survive, maybe you can uh, justify that. But there is really absolutely no necessity to be eating meat at all. I mean, we've, we've heard this already. Um, and I do think you think it's hypocritical then for people who eat meat to, to find this abhorrent? I think, actually, no, not necessarily. I think there's a line along which we travel, and I've been traveling along it for a long time. I actually did eat meat for a very long time, and at the moment I still um, consume milk and cheese and stuff, but I'm really beginning to doubt if that's okay as well, because that also co causes an immense amount of suffering in the world. And as factory farming increases, um, I think you have to ask yourselves these questions more and more and more. Okay. I do not think we should be, d be doing this. It would be much more efficient for the planet for us to be eating... Um, non-animals. Um, Ian? I think, I think Brian May puts his finger on a, a really good point there and this rather dubious distinction between who is out uh, in the name of conservation and who is out in the name of trophy hunting I think that's a very difficult one. That I, uh, m my guess is there's quite a lot of people that run off with the idea that yeah this is all part of conservation but secretly they're out there to stick those antlers mm. on the chimney breast. Let's I call, really yeah, Benjamin, sorry, I was going to say first of all you have to be really honest is it sport or is it conservation mm. I mean I think it's wrong doing it for anything but you have to be really honest. Yeah. Can I just tell you a very quick story yeah. Ruth Adele, a poet who happens to be the great granddaughter of Darwin once I went to a talk where she was talking about Darwin and she was waxing lyrical about how great he was and I said is there anything you are ashamed of that, that he did and she said there was a short period in his life where he was into hunting and then he realised it was wrong. Even though he carried on ca getting specimens to further his research, but hunting for sport he still thought was wrong. And although I take the position that, you know, killing animals is wrong, it's this idea just for sport that really sickens a lot of people and I think that's why this, this stag has touched the heart of so many people. Dick Power is from the Hunting Association of Ireland. Are deer and stags uh, hunted because it's conservation or are they hunted because it is sport? <coughs> Good morning, Suzanne. Good morning to all in Belfast uh, from lovely Limerick this morning. Uh, it's, stags are hunted for both. They're hunted for both con conservation and for sport. But I, I thought it ironic there to hear Ian Collins and Christina, uh, who, are, uh, who are, say they're meat eaters, so getting all up with you about the, the stag. I mean, there's 50,000 farm animals slaughtered in England and the UK every day to feed the, the food industry. So, I mean, those who eat, eat, eat that meat can't come on then and start saying that uh, you know, to kill one stag is immoral, but to kill the other 50,000 is fine. Christina? Well, uh, I, I think he's got a point. We're all agreed, even though we're not in the same position about eating animals, that killing an animal for sport is not all right. Uh, I, I expect fast forward several hundred years and we will have found a way to eat in a way that does not involve killing animals. Um, do you feel, I mean, uh, listening to that point there, do you feel th a quandary about the fact that you find it offensive that, and I can see you shaking your head, Ian, that you find it offensive that one animal has been killed. Absolutely. But thousands killed. are killed in slaughterhouses. Who, well, I mean, we... No, but he's, it, the, some I, people I, I think killed about purely, that. purely for a whim, yeah. um, for a trophy. Um, uh, I think part of, part of being a meat eater is eating... Um, I, I've tried very hard, and Brian May talked about being on a journey mm. and that he used to eat meat. But the, the hunter um, guy there is talking about, he's on about the morality of the death of the animal. When we're yeah. talking about the individual, the motivation behind the individual that picks up the gun to shoot the animal. I think okay, they so are two different, different things. things. Uh, but also it's yeah. how one eats meat. And Benjamin may not agree that it's, you can ever eat meat ethically, but I eat meat as ethically as possible. But I expect my great-great-grandchildren... Um, Probably we'll eat we'll a different way. we will be eating a different way. have different issues with angling. I mean, are there some, are there some sports where killing animals, fish, is okay? Well, I, I grew up on a sailboat for my childhood. And if we didn't kill fish and at times shoot um, pigeons and things, we would not have, have eaten um, when we were between islands and there are no, um, no supermarkets out <laughs> in the wild islands. And, and so... Uh, I grew up from the age of five, killing and gutting fish. And, uh, and on that image, we will leave it there. <laughs>